Welcome to our Wisdom Online Poetry class for this week. I'm very happy to tell you that we have a wonderful poet uh, to work with. Her name is Laura Cook, and Laura has been a longtime member of Women's Wisdom Art, back to the time when we were on 24th Street in Curtis Park. And she um, is also a visual artist. She is a sculptor. And let me read you a little bit about Laura. She goes by the poetry mick tag of I'm o be me as I be we. She is the eldest daughter of the late Cynthia Robins Robinson, original trumpet player for Sly and the Family Stone. And we have more information about that in our links and references. Laura has been published in multiple works over the years, including but not limited to several women's wisdom collections, Sacramento City College's Descant, in Hair, a celebration of legacy birth through Master Barber and Beauty Shop, in a book, Late Peaches, a collective of local Sacramento poets' writings edited by Bob Stanley. Laura Cook, as I said, is a visual artist, a sculptor, a spoken word expressionist, and a mentor educator for Sacramento Area Youth Speaks. Sacramento Area Youth Speaks. And she is currently also working with a classy hippie tea company on Broadway, where I met her a few months ago. Laura also participated in Wisdom's performance piece, Shatterproof. And along with the other Shatterproof crew, created a full body painting. And if you want to know what that is, that's we explain it carefully in links and references. Now, what excites me especially about this is that we're able to not only dip into Laura's poem, but also a piece from Shatterproof. And the theme is all about women's voices and learning to roar. Here's the selection from Shatterproof. You can barely hear me speak. At times my voice is caught and swallowed up before it reaches my throat. Afraid, I see from the corners of my eyes and hear what you say only by the silent music your words ride upon. Alive, I feel with fingers fashioned from thin web, wing, antennae, and branch, ancient wisdom, primitive forms. These are my ancestors. Alert, I taste foods that have cooked for millions of years in the blackened pots of my mothers. Hiss, roar, song, and bellow carried forward from long ago, from sun's past, Words and songs of my sisters remembered holy songs. Okay, so that's, I hope that you will enjoy this class. It also in, includes instructions on how to roar, believe it or not, how to roar, which I'm not going to do right now because it would scare Bonnet very much. I tried yesterday and she went, what? And jumped up. So, but I hope you try it. And I also want to especially thank my videotaper here today because she suffered the stings of five bees yesterday and does not feel that good. Kind of like a swollen, spotted pain bass. <laughs> so we hope that you'll be better next week and we send you all our love. Bye.